Hi, my name is Mo Chen, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily conditional format dates in Excel. Before jumping into conditionally formatting the date, let's look at the data that we'll actually be working with. So it's a super simple orders table with the order ID, order date, ship date, customer name, and sales columns. The columns we'll be focused on are the order date and ship date columns. So let's start by conditionally formatting the order date column. Let's select all of the values here and then go up here into conditional formatting, highlight sales rules and select greater than, for example. What I'm trying to do here is basically select or highlight all of the values that come after the specific date that I pass in here. So I'll go 01-01-2021, for example, which means that I want to highlight the dates that come after the 1st of January 2021. Hit OK, and there we go. Excel has just done that for us. We can hit Control Z to undo this, and then go back up to the top here into conditional formatting, highlight cells rules again, and let's go with less than this time. So this time we want to select or highlight the values before a specific time that we pass in. So I'll go say, for example, 25th of March 2022, and we can see that pretty much all of the dates come before the 25th of March 2022. Now, of course, we can give it different highlights, so we could do a yellow fill or we could do a green fill, or you could even do a custom format if you like. So what I like to do is go with a black background color for the font. I go with a white font and then with bold font style, hit OK, hit OK again. And there you go. You see that these dates are now clearly visible. So again, I'll hit Control Z to go back to the original state and now move it on to something a little bit more advanced, but a lot more cooler. So say, for example, you want to highlight the order IDs here when the order date and the ship date were on the same day. So basically, you want to highlight all of the orders that were shipped on the same day as they were ordered. What do you do? You can go into conditional formatting, click on to new rule, and then under new rule, you should click on to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So let's click on that. And then what I'm going to do now is click into the formula and type is equal to B2 is equal to C2. What am I doing here? All I'm doing essentially is that I'm saying if the order date, oh, let me just delete that, C2. So all I'm saying here is that if the order date is equal to the ship date, then I want to highlight the order ID. Now let's go into format and I'll go with the same formatting. So white font, bold font style with the fill. I'll just go with a black background color. Hit OK, hit OK again. And there we go. We have three orders right here that were shipped and ordered on the same day. So this is ADX50, whatever this order ID is, but we can just double check the date, 3rd of February 2021, and then 3rd of February 2021. Or in row 9, we have the 4th of May 2022, and again, we have the 4th of May 2022. Or the one below, we have the 24th of April 2019, 24th of April 2019 again. If you like this video, then I think you'll like this video, or this video here. I'm gonna leave them on the screen for a couple seconds just so you can click on them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.